Hello everybody and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Uh, this is a little uh, hobby of mine, a little project where I take my passion of driving and uh, setting lap times on Forza Motorsport or any other driving simulator and I, I like to have a collection of cars and benchmark them and, and I see how cars compare to each other and see which is the quickest and that's kind of what this YouTube channel is all about. It's about taking all the cars hot lapping them on the same track and seeing which one comes out on top. Uh, I've always had a love for cars and simulation and driving and I'm hoping to kind of showcase that throughout this channel. Uh, at the moment I'm just using Forza, Forza Motorsport 7 uh, that's just because there's so many cars and so many tracks and the cars relate to each other pretty well in comparison to how they do in real life so if I want to like race a Subaru against Nevo uh, the outcome should be the same on the game as in real life and what I want to do is create my own leaderboard similar to what Top Gear used to do and I'll have a list of cars and they'll all be in order fastest to slowest. Today I want to put uh, the Type R, the EP3 Civic Type R against the Fiesta ST. Uh, the reason for that is because I've owned both cars and with it being the first episode I just thought how better to put these two together it's the latest Fiesta ST with 200 brake horsepower and it's the Civic Type R which also had 200 horsepower even though they're about 20 years apart it's going to be interesting to see which one's going to come out the quickest and be on top <laughs> down and across the line we go so let's see what this initial outlap's like. The first thing that you'll notice when driving the Fiesta ST is that it does pretty much everything quite well. It's a little car, it's sporty, it's fast, it's got good brakes, it's got decent speed. Uh, I've owned two of these myself, I really enjoy them and the game captures um, its character and physics quite well I believe. And even with cold tyres, which is making it look a bit fidgety at the moment, uh, it's still hitting them apexes quite nice. The, the, the balance is perfect with the ST and it always has been. That's kind of been its defining point. Uh, it's definitely a driver's car. And if you're a new driver, and if you're an enthusiast about driving, the Fiesta ST is a brilliant car to own. Even though I went off there after all that speech. Now we're flying down the straight. The helicopters filming us and across the line. Flying down there. Now the good thing about the Fiesta ST is it's it's good on the brakes. Straight to the outside of the road. And straight back into that apex, kissing it nicely and getting the exit point nice into the left hander. And it's just flowing corner to corner isn't it? It's, it's really nice. I almost killed that cone. I do like to kill cones every now and then. And this right corner coming up, this is it's a real nice corner when you get it right. You can keep your foot on the throttle. It can also be quite dangerous there because you, you can fly off the road and with it being an uphill it puts you into a weird and dangerous situation. And already we're on to his third lap now. Uh, the way I usually go about doing hot laps is Obviously I'm trying to go faster and fa faster each lap but also I'm trying different things, different approaches to every corner and also driving cars in different ways because even though essentially you're driving the same track each car behaves differently in its character so I am trying to always take things differently to try and get that perfect combination across the whole lap to get that quickest time possible. Sometimes the effort is, is too much and, and you never feel like you're going to get that 
proper true fast lap time you just have to realize you've got to take what you, you've got but with the fiesta st there's no such problem you, you can usually get a quick lap every lap because it is easy to drive and if we look here what lap time are we going to get it's one minute seven the best laps are one minute four Definitely room for improvement. Now I believe this fast lap come on uh, lap 8. Um, so it's quite a quick lap to come. Usually I'm messing about with the car trying to make it do its thing. But the Fiesta ST proved itself more or less straight away. And we went into this first corner here. Nice, yeah, we took that corner nice. And into the left hander. Kiss it right where the corner is, stay on the left, and then slide right. And then we can flat the straight. Full throttle. And again, it, it makes no fuss the Fiesta ST, it just does it. There's no nasty surprises. The front wheel drive isn't compromised really, it just. It's still sporting, gives you no problem, you just crack on with it. It really is a pleasure to drive a Fiesta ST. They're not really as uh, popular as they should be, I believe. And as we exit onto the main straight, it's just a case of keeping your foot planted. And 1 minute 3.5, we'll stick that on the leaderboard. And now it's time to get the Honda Civic Type R out. And let's do a bit of a practice, talk about it, and then we'll set a fast lap with this. So here we are, the Civic Type R. It's probably one of the favourite Civic Type R's, the EP3. It's where it all began, especially in the UK. We didn't have the EK9, we just started with the EP3. And Obviously the main thing about this car is it's 2 litre engine and it's it's high revving nature. It's what the Civic Type R is all about. Um, the one thing I like about the Civic Type R is that if you wasn't racing it, it was just a normal car, it just did everything right. But if you floored it and got it past 6000 RPM then it would do its, its camshaft thing and it would go into its race mode and it just start screaming and go mental. But also, which um, really made a difference to this car was its gearbox. The gearbox is probably one of the best gearbox I've ever used. It's it was a close ratio six gear gearbox, and it was mounted on the dash, and it was literally about six inches away from the steering wheel, so you could you felt like a race driver. That everything about the Civic Type R, you felt like it was a race driver. And here on Forza Motorsport Seven. Yeah, it's captured it quite well. The modelling of the car's a bit off because it's got facelifted features on there, like uh, like the updated headlights, and then it's missing some bits, like the indicators that was on the on the wing mirrors. It, it's missing them all together, so it's kind of like a mix match. But uh, despite that, the car drives like it should drive. It's got that high revving engine. Uh, you've got to keep it in that. that them high revs, you've got to keep it above 6,000 so coming out of all the corners uh, that's where you want to be, you want to be revving the, the nuts off of it and it's just fun to drive on the game and in real life uh, like I said I wanted the Fiesta ST to go against the Honda Civic Type R just as a bit of a tribute to them both because I've owned the cars and I've, I've loved both of them and so let's go on to the fast lap I say Killer cone, there we go. And here we go, the hot lap for the Honda Civic Type R EP3. And we cross the finish line and we start braking just after the number three braking board. And around we go. I think in this corner it shows the Fiesta ST as the better handling car. I think there's just a bit more grip. Although the Honda Civic Type R does seem to be more adjustable when you need it to be. And you can just maybe. It's 
swing around just a bit more to help your cars. So, yeah, I don't know, swings and roundabouts, they're, they're both great cars, it doesn't really matter which one you've got, they've got the, the strengths and weaknesses. The Honda Civic Type R did have the independent uh, rear bone suspension, so that's quite a rare thing, but the Fiesta ST, it did great with what it had. The rigid axle, or whatever you call it, I'm not sure. Not a mechanic, but as a driving machine, they're both excellent. But I think if I had to choose between one, it would be this Honda Civic and this engine. But driving both cars in, in person, the brakes on the Fiesta ST was absolutely amazing. So it depends what you wanted to go for. And there we go, 1 minute 3.2. So we just beat the. Um, Fiesta by three tenths of a second. And there we go, that's the first episode. I hope you like the idea, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, the Civic Type R, uh, faster than the Fiesta ST, but not by much, it's been, uh, it's been quite enjoyable to make. Um, I said I'd put the times on a leaderboard. Uh, there you go, I couldn't actually make a leaderboard, so I had to make one in 3D and and it's not looking too shabby. Um, next episode I'm looking to race either the Nissan GTR or the Porsche 911 Turbo. Obviously they're gonna post a faster time than the, the cars we've hot lap today. I'm hoping to break the minute mark, I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, I don't know whether I'm just gonna race one car or keep it on a one verse one format so two cars are setting a lap per, per week but I am going to release an episode every Friday uh, touch wood so yeah if you enjoyed the episode uh, please help me out by pressing like and subscribe if you press the notification bell it should um, notify you whenever I upload them on a Friday if not just check back on a Friday and let's see what happens next time thank you